I'm back, baby. We're back. Uh, so a lot of people have been asking me, where's my Revuelto? It's been literally 130 days since I last saw it, since I last drove it. The reason for that is if you follow the channel, the car was getting an uh, exhaust system put on it by Gentani. Now, Gintani is not based in the UK, I am. They didn't have any car with them in America at the time to develop the exhaust system. So they kindly asked that I shared my Revuelto exhaust with them. So I shipped it all the way over to LA. Gintani had it. It was there for a few months. They were developing the system, testing it on their test cars when they eventually got their cars um, ready to go when they got delivered. There was a delay in the USA. And then um, just make sure there was no issues. There were a few tidbits that I'll talk about later that had to be altered to make it work with the Revuelto. But when it was done, they shipped the exhaust back to me. It, it takes a while to ship things, especially things that size. It got caught up in customs. But today, the exhaust is back and it's on the car. So I'm gonna go pick it up. So I've just jumped in the i7. I'm heading off now. Um, if you can see behind me, there's um, some, some, what looks like plastic, but it is plastic. I've got the body kit for i7 in the car. So I'm gonna take the i7 to where the Revolto is now, pick up the Revolto, leave the i7 there. They're gonna fit the body kit. And then um, hopefully, uh, that's the end of uh, end of end of that. It just pulled up in the BMW i7, looking delicious. So we're leaving this car here. Uh, it has the body kit in the back that um, uh, uh, Dan inside is going to do. Uh, you've met Dan before. He's the owner of um, Auto Sanctuary, the Rap Sanctuary. Yeah, How you doing, bro? Yeah, How you doing? Yeah, not bad. So um, he's um, he's done some cool stuff to my car, but he's going to fit the body kit to that. Maybe satin black, right. maybe. We'll see what happens. Out here right now, we've got an SVJ, obviously not my SVJ. This one's in black, coming in for a wrap or PPF. And this one is in um, a similar color to my Revolto. Basically, the owner of this car saw my Revolto, said, wow, that guy's got great taste. I want to be like him. So he wrapped his, but with satin. I think this looks quite good. So wait, do you want to tell them what you did to my car? Right, so Tommy's got the world's most expensive wrap. Okay, so <laughs> essentially what he's done is he fully wrapped the car in a uh, color before. There's a 3M high gloss uh, deep space. That's yeah, deep space. It's deep space. Yeah, and then he said, oh, I think it needs to be a little bit brighter. Um, so we decided to team up with Steck and put Steck Prism PPF on top to enhance the gloss for one and to get the color flow to really flip. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's next level. <laughs> Just so you know, like that, that's not cheap. <laughs> yeah, so the wrap's expensive. I basically, I wrapped the car. Um, it went away to get the Gintani fitted. And during that time, you put the Steck PPF on it. Yeah. Um, so I actually don't know what the total amount was. So <laughs> I'm going to cover my ears and you can save the total amount. I don't want to know. Recommended retail. Tommy helps us a little bit, but retail price, 11 grand. So, <laughs> I actually heard everything. <laughs> but let's go check out the car. First, we're gonna check out the new wrap and then we're gonna check out the Gintani exhaust. Yeah. But the, the wrap is something that you can see. So, uh, I, want, I want you guys to take it in. My baby! You know Camille's been like, when, when's, our, when's our sweet child coming back? Uh, I don't know, but... Before the new one opens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got a child on the way, guys, by the way. I haven't put it on YouTube yet. Right, you ready for this? I'm born ready. Right, let's go. Here we go, here we go. Yes! <laughs> that looks fire! That looks... Yo! Oh my god! The PPF has made such a difference. It's so much brighter. This yep. is erotic. This is actually erotic. Man, it's crazy, isn't it? The amount of depth that the PPF actually brings into it. I'll grab some wrap in a minute yeah, and I'll put it on the bottom compare. just so you can see it. Yeah. But the amount of depth that the PPF brings in it, and also it gives that color flow color like next level. Also, if you put this on black, it does a similar sort of thing, but not quite as crazy yeah, as this because you've got the original colors wow. from the wrap underneath. So. It's been a long time coming, but I'm sure it's, uh, it's definitely worth it. God, I haven't seen this car in so long. Man, it's sick. It is so cool. This looks incredible. Incredible. 
first startup of the uh, Gintani Revolto. Let's, let's, I wanna hear it. I wanna, let's... Jesus Christ! <laughs> Yo, that's loud. That is loud. It might be a tad bit too loud, I say. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm back, baby. We're back. You're gonna burn a hole in your wall. Look at that. Fuck. <laughs> it's on the steering wheel. Wait, is it not, is it not up? Hold it down, push it harder. There you go. Front nose lift. Four months without my car, four months. He's a I don't mind his extra two days, that's fine, four months. But um, it was all in the pursuit of performance, or sound, I should say. So we've got the exhaust on it now. Um, it's still got cats on it, which is good. It means that you just don't get the fumes. Because they didn't want to bypass, they didn't want to tune the ECU. They just left uh, all the well, emission stuff as standard. Beat Yanni in this one. Yeah, 100 yeah, yeah. yeah. percent My my Ronto is faster than Yanni's. Look at the quarter mile time. I think we need to get this out on the road, see how it drives, and um, get myself uh, reunited. But first things first, we need to get some fuel in it, so we'll do that. In the Revolto, um, inside it's not it's not loud. This is how the Revolto sounded normally. And when you get to higher revs, okay, yeah, it becomes loud. Um, luckily, the cars are hybrid, so if you ever become sick of the sound of the exhaust, you can slot it into hybrid mode. But um, I haven't driven this car in four months, so it's just weird going back out in it. So my license plate fell off, we managed to recover it. Dan came, brought it back, and we put it in the glass um, in the back of the car. <laughs> so um, it's gonna have to live there until I can find some double-sided tape. I think I have some at home, so that should be chill. But I'm bursting for the toilet, and um, I'm getting fuel because it said that I had 40 miles of fuel, but then when I started driving, it went down to 20, and the petrol station was 25 miles away, so that kind of sucked. <laughs> testing the exhaust at the moment. The car, when I first got the Hiravata, I was like, this car is sick. All it needs is an exhaust to let it sink. And it's transformed the car so much. <laughs> it gives me that SVJ kind of vibe. Like, I miss this kind of energy where it's just... Outrageous. That is what you call metal flake. So now the uh, engine is warm, I'm gonna give you a quick start up. So uh, check this out. So um, on the way home, I've done a few rips of the exhaust as you've seen, stay in this metal flake here. Tell you what, it sounds absolutely manic. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! I bet you they love me 
there's Chappie. <laughs> yeah, first gear. And then, when we get to traffic, we settle down. This exhaust has made the car that much more engaging. I just want to drive it all the time now. When I first got this car, I was thinking, oh, I still can't sell the SVJ. The SVJ just has all the drama. But now I think that I can find some of that drama in the Revolto. I'm still not selling the SVJ, mind you. But the fact that I can get that from the, uh, the Revolto, the duality of the car is just amazing because, like I said, I can do relaxed and calm. Like right now, I can put it in Strada and put it in Auto. Um, it's got a dual clutch gearbox. It'll do all the shifting, it'll be smooth. As soon as I want to turn into a hooligan, I just change it into hooligan mode and I floor it like I am going to do now. back home now and it's so surreal to see this car because I haven't seen it in so long. I, I I thoroughly missed it. Even my wife, when she saw it back, she was like, my baby's back. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I haven't actually started up in the last two days. That's when I came back. So I think uh, what I'll do is give it a little uh, start up now, just so you guys can hear another cold start, but I'll also compare it to the cold start of the SVJ. So we can have a quick comparison on the sounds. In my mind, the Revuelto sounds a lot uh, smoother and it goes higher pitch, whereas the SVJ is a lot more rough, uh, but a uh, violent uh, sound, I would say. This is gonna upset people probably within a five mile radius, but um, here we go. Let me uh, flip this bad boy around. Uh, which should I start first? I think I'll do the honors and start the SVJ first. That's a lot louder than I remember the SVJ being. I'll let it get warm and I'll give it a few revs and then we can prepare. I'm not even sure if you can hear me. It's been about uh, three minutes, four minutes maybe. Uh, I think that's warm enough. It's gonna give you one, one quick, two quick revs. Yeah, I would say that's, I would say that's very loud. Uh, time for the Revuelto, I guess. in the SVJ, so I'm not angry at because this isn't as loud a car in terms of its design. So yeah, um, it's it's loud, a lot a lot louder than I remember. It's not as loud as the SVJ, which is a good thing. I didn't want that. Um, but uh, yeah, look out for more. Thanks guys for watching the video. Um, if you watched all the way to the end, the first person that can tell me the name of the services that we stopped at, I'll get you something nice. But uh, enjoy. Um, I'm gonna try this car some more.